But here's all the different sizes that kit came with. Let's go ahead and see how we can turn this into this. Welcome back, y'all. Okay, so we're doing some body work. I don't know why, but I just want to. Uh, no, actually, I I went online. I showed you in previous videos. This is a Squire package. So it had the wood paneling on it and all these holes that are in it held the trim in. And don't want to be just filling that in, gapping it in and all that crap. So I went online and I got this kit on Amazon. So here it is if you want to Check out that barcode. It's a circle patch plug kit. They make these like for firewall inserts and stuff for building race cars and street cars and all that. So I thought I would get them and try them out and see if some of them were somewhere close to the hole size I have on the Ranchero here. And just turns out there are a few of them in here that were the right size. So um, all these other ones I can just keep, but uh, let's see which one was it. I think it was this one here. Maybe that little tiny one there, let's see. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that one there is it. And I don't know how well you can see it there, but let's see if we can get away from that light. I may have to lay it on something to show you, but it's got little uh, tabs on it from where it was cut. I just had to um, grind them off a little bit with a file and then put it in there at the magnet and welded it in. So I'll show you real quick how I did that. It'll be a quick episode. I've got about 497 holes doing this car, so I'm not gonna bore you with all of it. I'm just gonna do a couple of them, see how it turns out, and go from there. So here's all the different sizes that kit came with. And there's the little one I got now with it laying on this blue paint here. You can kind of see the little, little pricklies on it. So here's all the different sizes that kit came with. And there's the little one I got now with it laying on this blue paint here. You can kind of see the little little pricklies on it and uh, all I did was put it in my vise and file those off and then I came over here I just file them smooth and then I come over here just get the hole just kind of ream it out with a file ream there I take my magnet like so just pop it in so let me go ahead and get this one all cleaned up and ready to go in there and I'll show y'all how I get it done. Not much to it, just throw it in a vise that's tiny. Just get vise, whatever file you have. And just start cleaning it all off, get all those little tabs off of it. Okay, so we're just gonna clear all the paint and everything off for this one area, so it'll be nice to clean the weld to. We'll take our newly filed tab with a magnet We'll put it on there, tack weld it up. Go ahead and get your round file. Ream it up, ream it out. All right, then I've just got one of these, get any kind of magnet you want, but I've got just one of these extendable ones just because it's what I had here. And I just take, get on the edge of it here like that and just get it in place here. Now, doesn't always fit. You might have to ream it a little more or whatnot. But the key is just to get it in there and get a spot flush. Like that right there is flush. There we go. So I know the bottom right here is flush. I'm already grounded right over here on the fender. So I'm gonna kick on my welder. We're just gonna come right here to the flush spot. Do a quick spot weld. Boom. Now you can tap that in, make it flush on the other side, however you want to do it. Just want to tap that straight. I really need a hammer and dolly kit. This is not the right kind of hammer. But you can run the head of this over. It's not hitting anything. Remember that's still hot. 
There we go. Now we'll tack the rest on. Remember not to get your metal too hot. You may have to do a couple spots, walk away for a minute, and then come back. All right, there you go. Now, as you can see, you can see the whole circle of it still. So we just barely got it welded in, but we've got it smooth. So now come back with your welder, fill in your holes. Grind it smooth. And there you go. Top side done. I'm about 30 minutes in on this. Now let me show you. You can get real picky with some of this. Like that one, I need to go on a little further. This here. But a lot of that you can just fill in with body filler and primer and sealer, right? It's kind of dealer's choice on that. Pick your poison. But I will go back when the metal is not so hot and try to fill it in again a little more with metal. That way there's that much less Bondo or body filler, however you want to say it. I was always told body filler. My auto shop teacher said it's not Bondo. That's the name of the brand. And speaking of, might be a lot on this car. It's working great. And that's a, that's a lifesaver having that little hole there. Because if you want to look up here, this one was already done. Now my brother did that when he had the car. And what he did was he just got an eight penny nail and turned it with the point sticking out and just tack welded it in there, cut the nail off and grinded it smooth, which is very smart if you got the stuff laying around. But I don't have a bunch of those and I was just looking around, I came across these. I do believe Speedway Motors has these. So that's probably where I'm gonna go for. I love Speedway Motors, possibly Summit Racing, which they're really good too. But uh, I'll probably get some more of these anyway. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's episode. About 30 minutes probably, maybe 40. If you can buy those little tabs, I'm gonna to have to order some from Speedway or whoever has them, get the right size. That's a lifesaver. It went so so much quicker. Uh, that's all I got for this. I'm... All right, so that's gonna do it for today's episode. About 30 minutes, probably, maybe 40. If you can buy those little tabs, uh, I'm gonna to have to order some from Speedway or whoever has them, get the right size. That's a lifesaver. It went so so much quicker. Uh, that's all I got for this. I'm not going to, I don't have enough of the little, uh, whatever you call it. I don't have enough of the, of the patch plugs to uh, do the whole car anyway. So uh, I may have to hit up Speedway Motors or Summit Racing for the remaining 497 on my knee for this car. But just want to show you guys a quick video. We haven't done anything in a while. We've, uh, this car has really just been sitting. I just now got it back in the shop. So uh, trying to get back on it. So uh, appreciate you guys joining in. I hope you were able to learn a little bit of something. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We appreciate it a bunch. Uh, if we could really make this channel grow, get this car done quicker. So appreciate you guys tuning in and we'll see you next time.